he is Madison McKibben. His partner has been waiting for this moment, ladies and gentlemen, ready to get win number two, Ty. We are back at it, baby. You are back, Ty. You are a staple on the AVP Tour, and I cannot wait to see what you do right now. He is Ty Roan Loomis. Yes, Ty, come on. Wow. Who wants it, baby? That guy doesn't. Okay, and their opponents in their third straight final, looking to make it two wins in a row. The most consistent team on the AVP Tour 2017, absolutely balling out of their minds. Let me hear it for the big swinger, the blocker out of Andover, Minnesota. He is Stafford Slick. Yes, yes, Billy. Billy. Yes, yes, Billy. Billy. My coach, coach, 10 years ago at Santa Monica College, I've been lucky to stay friends with this young man, and he keeps getting better and better. A long-time AVP pro looking for win number three, Billy. If volleyball starts here with you, Billy, it starts right now with Billy Allen. <laughs> There you have it, everybody. I am Triborn. You got your intros right there. And I'm joined here with Brittany Hochaver. We are starting up the men's final. The stadium is absolutely rocking right now. These boys are fired up. And uh, we got, a, we got a, a show on our hands here. Bay Bridge in the background. The vibe is good. The weather is nice. And uh, we're about to see some really good volleyball, Brittany. I'm so excited about this final. Uh, Billy has been playing so sharp. Madison has been playing extremely physical. And I'm, I'm fired up. Stafford Slick starting off with a little finesse game over the top of the big block of McKibben, the high flyer. Billy Allen back to serve. A little trouble here early from McKibben and Loomis. 2-0, the number one seed in the lead. Billy's, Billy hits a ball that has a spin on it that I don't, I haven't seen anywhere else. Like it's fast, him, it slices away so fast. He slices and dices, that's why we call him Swiss Allen Knife. <laughs> nice high aggressive swing from Madison, the lefty. His partner's pumped up about it. These guys are fired up. You saw those intros. So and, fun uh, to watch. Madison came out and the, the ball that they throw to the stands at intros, he threw with his right hand. And he just unloaded with his left arm. Across to the opposite side of the stadium. Here we go, Stafford Slick, one of the most physical players on tour right now, but. Right, right, right. Here, Billy oh. Allen, why not? The walk away. Did Billy Allen just do a Steph Curry? <laughs> he just dug it. Before it even landed, he started walking away, the no looker, and he didn't even break a smile at all. Look at this. Walk away, Billy, why not? Wow. Here we go, Stafford Slick floating out of the middle. Actually strained his ab earlier in the game, or early, late in the semifinal, but pulled out an amazing victory. Come, hey, come hey, from hey. behind victory. The Madison. beer garden loves it. Beer garden is on fire right now. They're absolutely <laughs> We found raging. McKibben fans. Yeah. And it's full of beards over there. The beer garden. Loving the beard garden. The beard garden. 
That one's in the net from Loomis. And 4-2, the number one seed, Slick and Allen, stay in the lead. So uh, Stafford told me before the match that it was, a, it was actually a muscle spasm in, mm -hmm. his, uh, in his oblique of his hitting side of his body. So you're not going to see the physical game from Stafford that he usually has. But you will see uh, the rest of the game. And these guys, it's, it's really about chemistry right now. They're the hottest team on tour. And uh, it'll be interesting to see how they do without Stafford's physical approach. I mean, maybe, maybe we'll see him coming out and banging balls. But usually he's bouncing them into the stands. Right now, it doesn't look like he's getting up quite as high. Well, I think that's an interesting mentally pro mental approach for McKibben Loomis in the sense that you have he unloads on that but um, having an injured player on the other side of the net does that change up your game plan are you gonna is that something you're considering or, or not how do you change your game plan uh, I know playing against um, we saw April Ross break her toe and play in the finals in New York and and the approach it just I think it threw off the approach of summer and and Brooke. Right. And look at that. Stafford uh, still putting still putting balls down. Nice cut shot right there. So and is Stafford's that normal? Serve. Is that a normal Stafford game plan right now? Is this a normal Stafford? No, I don't I don't think so. At the beginning think, of a set. I think he comes in super aggressive and usually wants to bounce balls and and uh, kind of get himself fired up by hitting a lot. Good shot by Ty Loomis. That one touches the line on the cut shot. Ty's feeling it right now. He's going to, I mean, when this guy has energy, he's really hard to stop. And, and I think he's a great partner for Madison right now because Madison loves that energy and that fire too. Here we go. Ty serving out of the middle with the jump serve. Going to Stafford. Stafford's still getting on top of it. Not getting up as big, but bringing these different tempos still. So. Mm -hmm. Impressive uh, adjustments he's made to his game early on in this match, but let's see if uh, Madison and Ty can make uh, adjust right back. I think Madison should focus on taking those low angles right now and make Stafford go up and over and give Ty an opportunity to chase down some of these balls. Because Stafford's uh, his off-speed game is not what he's uh -huh. known for. And okay. if you take away those low angles, he's not getting up as high. He can't hit over the block now. So Madison can take those low angles away and give Ty a chance to chase down the, the shots. That's my strategy here. Let's mm -hmm. see what they do. Here we go. They're going to get a shot at it. Ty, get him. Madison up. Oh. Those transition sets are just so imperative, but the physicality of that impact point is so high. Yeah, I love uh, I love Ty being aggressive with it and getting Madison. I mean, you got to give Madison a chance. He's the more physical no player doubt. right now at the net. He's one of the highest jumpers out here on tour. And uh, I, I like the aggressive approach there. That one went about two feet too far over onto Stafford's side, but I like that approach. And uh, A5 lead for Stafford Slick and Billy Allen, the one seed here in San Francisco. Staying on the youngster, Madison McKibben in his first final. Maddie ain't scared. Wow. Busting out his finesse game as well. The lefty out of Honolulu, Hawaii. Madison comes from a very volleyball rich family, actually. His, uh, so obviously, he usually plays with his brother, Riley McKibben, the Beard Bros. But Who's now out with a broken hand? Broken hand. His, their uncle, uh, Owen McKibben, actually also played uh, throughout the 90s on the AVP tour. He was very successful himself. And then uh, his aunt, Claudia McKibben, and their mother, Diana McKibben, all played volleyball. And uh, I actually learned a little something from their family growing up. That's incredible. There it is, Stafford Slick. Nice, clean line shot. Not getting up huge, but it looks like he's seeing better than, than he usually does, to be honest, when he doesn't have that huge approach. and uh, Those goggles better be doing something. His goggles are, uh, <laughs> yeah. They're working. Yeah, they're working right now. Here we go, Tyrone Loomis out of Laguna Beach. This is Ty's second final ever, mm -hmm. and he won the only other final he's ever been in with Casey Patterson. 
in New York City. Team Energy Drink. I would, <laughs> yeah. Those two together, yeah. uh, that must have been a fun final to watch. But that was 2009, Coney mm -hmm. Island, New York City. That was actually my first final with Jennifer Fatma as well. Oh, well, there you go. You remember yeah. that one very well. Real well. Oh, wow, what a ball. Man. Placing that one in the seam. Actually, it yeah. looks like an error pass right there. I don't think the serve really caused that. Maybe a hesitation was, on Stafford's part. It Let's looked like he here. almost fell off the table, though. He hit it at such a speed that was There is a little wind unique. At, at their back here. Mm -hmm. I think yep. it was a hesitation, and, uh, and that ball kind of dropped a little bit. Madison, the lefty, with the jump serve here. Hammering it at Billy Allen. Good swing by Billy. <laughs> Billy's just so consistent. He has everything. He has all the tools, which is why we call him the Swiss Allen knife. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but it sounded like a drive-by shooting after McKibben unloads on that ball and then Billy takes it right back off his hands. I mean, it's loud. These guys are thumping it. The fans definitely ooing and aahing. Madison goes for the hands there off Billy. I don't know if I like that approach. You got Billy Allen up there, a smaller block. I think you swing for court for sure when Billy Allen's there. Yeah, and, and they're serving Madison. Like, right. I, I think that's interesting when 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 um, Billy and Stafford go to the split block. One point to the technical. Not, uh, not a great serve there at all. Uh, you'll basically never see Billy Allen go into the net uh, normally, but Stafford obviously has that has that ab strain. So uh, this game, you're going to see them split block a lot. Uh, but Billy's no slouch, as he showed in the semifinal, getting some huge clutch digs. Stafford puts that one in deep, right on the back line. Smiles it off, gives it a little shrug. Um, but yeah, I think I think Madison. I got to take advantage of Billy being in the net as a smaller block, especially when they serve Absolutely. Madison. Uh, but Billy's he's such a good player all around. He can really do anything. He's gonna put his hands in the right spot. But I think you got to take advantage of that size difference. Plus, you have Stafford Slick, who's not used to making reads in the backcourt. So. No we'll doubt. See. We'll see what happens here. But as much information as Loomis McKibben have on this team, they're seeing a team that are, are they're doing just not normal right. things. They're totally improvising. And, uh, and they're improvising that. so well that sometimes that becomes a mental hurdle to get over of an adjustment you didn't foresee yourself having to make. Right. Throwing out some shirts to the fans here. Fans are feeling it. Oh my God, they are pumped up. I'm pumped it just up. Got I'm, loud so, here. I'm so amped up watching the intros here. And uh, I just want to get back down on that sand. But it's fun being here at the final. It's such a cool atmosphere. And uh, what, a, what a great event we have here in San Francisco. We got the Bay Bridge off in the distance. We got the staff throwing out shirts, teasing the fans here. No doubt. It's a good day to have a good day out here in San Francisco. <laughs> I like that. Good day to have a good day. The beer garden wants one. <laughs> they are raging, and, and Mark shirt oh, has to yes. give them a shirt, and they're fighting <laughs> over it. <laughs> Those are the McKibben fans. Yeah, a few guys with the beard. <laughs> The players take cool. the court here. 38-year-old Laguna Beach native, Tyrone Loomis in his second final ever. He's undefeated in finals, one for one, all time uh, with his young partner, Madison McKibben in his first final ever. And then you have Billy Allen right here in his fourth final ever, I believe. And uh, he's got two victories on the AVP Tour, one with Stafford Slick. Nice serve, or nice uh, side out there by Tyrone Loomis out of the timeout. You always want to get that first one out of the timeout, right? Yeah, absolutely. You almost want to hit the reset button and, and begin again. Keep yourself in the moment. Here we go. Madison McKibben, athletic lefty, switching that up to the float serve, going at Stafford's leg. As they go with the tempo set, I like that. Wow. Yeah, then. 
Loomis getting two big points out of the timeout. See, there's that off-speed game from Stafford. Yeah, Not they, his normal style, and, and Ty's quick enough to, to chase these down. That timing was executed beautifully. What a great match so far. 11 serving 12. The wind picking up for sure. The, the, lines, are the, kind, lines. the lines are moving, the flags are blowing. Keep that in mind uh, as, we, as we keep going on here. Uh, uh, it, it makes it really tough for the players. You played on the outer mm -hmm. courts and said it was brutal uh, yesterday. Whipping, yeah. It, it would, it'll whip and then it'll be calm. And then it'll so. nae nae. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go, Stafford Slick getting the serve and missing in the net. That's the, not the Stafford Slick I'm used to seeing. And knowing and that he doesn't have his have his power, then that becomes even more predictable, and that's and that's difficult. So when do you turn it on? When do you at least test out that app? Yeah. Do you test out that app? Well, that's that's his decision here, and uh, we'll we'll see if he decides to do it, but. Three points in a row for McKibben Loomis, and they're staying on Stafford Slick. Oh, Madison's close to sealing that line. Looked like he was, he knew that he saw Stafford going with that low line, but he was just late there. Stafford totally beat him to the spot. Here we go, Stafford Slick staying down. Stafford's usually doing a big approach jump serve. Now he's staying down. Oh, That's wow. impressive. Like nobody on planet Earth does that right now. Uh, Madison, probably the most pure ambidextrous player. A lot of players play with both hands, but Madison could legitimately play an entire tournament with his right hand if he wanted to. When he was younger, uh, I actually remember uh, he got injured, so he had to switch. He had to switch for like almost a year, I feel like. I don't remember exactly what happened, but it was something serious that happened to his right arm. So he just switched, he became a lefty and then I just heard stayed. Once he got healthy, he stayed as a lefty, but still had that ability with his right hand. Word on the street was his brother Riley made him, made him switch so he didn't have to sit out and of uh, pepper sessions in the backyard. <laughs> Yeah, probably. <laughs> it probably had something to do with Riley. Riley may have injured it. Who knows? That one goes just a bit out, and uh, Billy and Stafford get two points back. And it seems that that's what this, key, this team can do. Like, it, it, with a healthy Stafford, that has to be even more drastic, how quickly they can make runs like that. Yeah, absolutely. It's hard to, their consistency has been so good lately. Oh, Madison. Teeing off on one angle. Stafford slick late on that press. That is just huge. That is huge. And remember, this is this guy's first final yeah. ever. And he's fearless. Fear the beard is what they're chanting from. The <laughs> Fear the beard. They're cheering from the beer oh. garden right now. Someone just kicking someone's hair. Oh, no. Wow, they're, they're raging in the beer garden It's right happening now. in the beer garden. <laughs> We were, we were just told that somebody puked in someone else's <laughs> hair in the beer garden. They are raging. Beards are flowing. It's they're a, cheering, fear the beard. And, uh, and they're all corralled in, in the beer garden over there, so it's, it's, uh, unless, it's a good sight. Unless the guy with the big beard just puked in his own hair. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, I mean, that might happen. Here we go, Stafford Slick, float serve out of the middle, going to Loomis. Laguna Beach's mm. finest. There we go. Easy play by Ty Loomis. Stafford Slick kind of making that move early. Really easy to see for Ty. Ty's got great vision. Uh, I think he, he can see that one all day. Ty's doing a good job staying behind the ball, and it seems like he's just exploding in. He made a couple errors on the soft oh, side what a earlier. Hammer. Jeez. That's a great serve right there. Straight down Stafford's line. The boys are fired up about it. Yeah, Ty has definitely closed the gap by just being more aggressive. Ty's definitely uh, kind of conducting the energy on the court right now. Mm. 
There's a lefty oh, yeah, effort yeah, yeah. out of Stafford Slick. There you I go. see you, He's and like, I yeah. raise you, yeah, my exactly. left. Exactly. I'm trying to match that, that right hand of Madison McKibbins. It's like the old uh, Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, anything you can do, I can do better. Uh, of course. Madison, big swing outside approach. Drop shot, but Billy Allen's there. He drops and delivers wow. right on the line. I mean, that's that's just good defense right that's there. Great. Pretty good shot by Madison McKibben. Doesn't get much better than that uh, in terms of defense. He put this thing pretty straight down, and uh, Billy's yeah. all over it. And then he, and then not only. Does he dig that? But he puts it right on the sideline. And you, as Madison McKinnon, you don't want to be too bummed on that. That was just no, a great gotta, played point. You don't want the the two point lead to bother you too much. Got to stay positive and know that you're playing Jeez. against a good team and trust your teammate, right? Trust you have your a guy, teammate. Yeah. You have a guy that's been here before. A guy that's been around since I want to say 2006. He's been mm -hmm. out here. Yep. Or maybe even earlier. And uh, I mean. I think trust your partner when you're Madison. Mm -hmm. I've, I personally play with a veteran for years with John Hyden, and when I get to situations like this, I'm just gonna do me and trust that my partner can can mm -hmm. kind of teach me as I go, you know? Because you've really never been there unless you've been there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it's important in those moments that the, that the team communicates well and, and lets each other be them. Right, and things are different. You, you have to admit to yourself that things are different in the finals. There's different mm -hmm. vibes. The timeout, the biggest thing for me was the TV timeouts that would come in. And you actually have longer timeouts and more timeouts. So there's more waiting around and more nerves. And uh, if you're not ready for that, if you're not aware of it, if John Hyden had told me that that was going to happen, then I wouldn't have known. I think you're also, too, seeing some interesting things in the fact that it's how you manage a tournament, an entire tournament. So like, exactly. this is the fifth match, sixth match that these, these guys have played. And you see Stafford's dealing with an ab issue. People are tired. Oh, they're cramping. Go. Later. Wow. No one up on Madison. Not the best idea. Here we go, ladies and That's gentlemen. It. They've obviously managed their energy well. Yeah, Madison's, no doubt. They're both uh, Tyrone's uh, teeing off on some balls, and uh, Madison feeling it, still jumping up yeah. just as high as he was. In the, actually, he's probably <laughs> jumping higher right now. The crowd will do that to you. Touch off the block, nice aggressive swing from Stafford Slick. Stafford looking for his second victory ever. He's been in three finals, including this final, and they're all three in a row. New wow. York, Seattle, where they won the his first title, and now San Francisco. Talk about being on a roll. Mm. Off-speed shot, not the right shot from McKibben, but he and makes he up for it. it. They double up on the angle, and they're going to get set point. Madison wants to hear it from the crowd. Fear the beard is raining throughout the stadium. And then he has to <laughs> re-enter the atmosphere. <laughs> You know, that was actually, Ty, Ty was sitting in the angle. I'm pretty sure that the call was lined there for Madison, but he just stayed aggressive. I'm sure Ty's giving him the green light. You know, when you have a blocker like that, yeah. you've got to give him the green light. If he sees something, go get it. And no that's doubt. what he did right there. Yeah, just go press play, Madison. Here we go. Yeah. 20 all. Another block by Madison. They're going to get a chance here in transition. Can he put it away? Yeah. Oh, Saucy. Oh, wow. man. What a battle by Stafford and Billy. <laughs> That's a huge point right there. That was a huge turnaround, Both no teams doubt. Both had opportunities. So frustrating as a blocker when you're get, making plays at the net like that and it doesn't go down. So important for Billy and Stafford to take advantage of that. And uh, I mean, that's huge. I mean, that gets totally can get in Madison's head if he lets it. I don't think it will, but it was a good shot. It's frustrating for sure. It, it, he made yeah. two or three nice plays there, and Billy and Stafford just so steady. 
composed so, and pulled that point out. If you're Madison, what do you do? What do you go back and what's the what's that mindset at this point? You go back erase. to being aggressive? Erase that play. You don't even remember that play. And you just look forward to the next one. 100% right here. Stick with your partner. Trust your defense. Trust what you've been doing all tournament. Uh, that play doesn't exist anymore. Feed off that energy from the crowd, because obviously uh, he's the, with Stafford Slick being a little bit hurt here, he's going to be the most explosive, most dominant physical player out here. And uh, just got to trust your game, you know? They're here for a reason. Yeah, absolutely. And they're proving it over and over and over. But there's a lot of game left. And especially when we get to the free score, like this is, this could go deep, deep. Here we go, boys are back on the court. Billy Allen quietly managing his side of the court and uh, they got a chance at set point right now. Staying on McKibben, serving him to his seam. And they go with the tempo set and the right-handed change up going high off the hands. That's a pretty sight right there. He's so smooth. This guy. This guy. Wow. Now Madison's trying to fire tie up. Such different energies right from one side of the court to the other. The steady team that will sneak up on you and then this other team with just such high energy and fire. Oh, late move down the line from Madison. Looked like he kind of kind of balled up. Went went right in the middle in the seam on Stafford as that ball is off the net. Didn't quite make a, a very decisive move back to that line. Looked like he was kind of waiting to, to see something. Um, but good swing by Stafford. And Maddie coming in hard and teeing off. Hard and harder are his yeah. speeds right now. An ex angle and extreme angle. If you give him that, I mean, he's a lefty. So look how Stafford took a step, but he didn't line up on, on Madison's left arm at yeah. all. I think his Stafford's blocking game is not what it usually is right now. Obviously, mm -hmm. he's not getting up big, but he also needs to keep, line his, up. keep his feet moving. You're, if you're not getting up as big as you usually are, you've got to have your feet in the right spot and your hands as well. Man. Over the top by Ty Loomis. Ty Loomis wanted, to, wanted in on that fun. Yeah. Over the top of Stafford Slick. Get These some, guys Ty are Loomis. so physical. Uh, what a reach. I think what's fun is to watch uh, Ty and Madison's arms on the recoil after they do something like that. It's almost like the whip just goes limp. It's yeah. crazy to watch. They get it. They it comes around so fast. Good clean contact. And uh, now Lewis and McKibben have the lead. What do you think? Who? Uh, Who's the crowd going for? Who's got a little more energy coming from the crowd right now? I know which, we know Loomis and McKibben are, are uh, talking to the crowd more. But, uh, <laughs> they're trying to conduct it. I think they're trying to steal the energy in this entire stadium. And, they, and they've and they done that. That is their style of play. Right. And I think they're playing into it brilliantly. So um, yeah, I think the crowd gets it and they're feeding that energy. Um, but Al <laughs> Billy Allen Stafford is just the one seed so steady. They're, yeah, they're just so fun to watch. So. I mean, you just can tell that they know what's going on. Every play, there's intention behind what they're doing, and their team chemistry is so good. They're always on the same page, even when their game plan has to change because Stafford has that uh, his oblique that's kind of spasmed up. I don't know. It doesn't look like it's hurting him, but, but he's not getting that explosiveness that he was before. Mm -hmm. I that personally would have put some hot cream on there and just numb it up and forget about it. But, uh, I mean, Stafford's still playing well. Mm. Loomis and McKibben with the swing, and they'll take it. Real smooth. Wow. Are you kidding me? 
are you about to win a final Madison McKibben and Ty Loomis? Because I'm pretty sure a week or two ago you were in the qualifier. <laughs> Why not go all the way? Yeah, capitalizing on some opportunities. Everybody back home uh, at the Outrigger Canoe Club is just freaking out probably nice. right now. We're about, uh, as you know, uh, two weeks ago, Taylor Crabb just won his first uh, mm -hmm. event in New York City with Jake Gibb. That's a big deal for the That was good Hawaiians to watch as right well. Yeah. Of course, uh, Madison's here uh, on the verge of winning one for himself. And uh, Trevor Crabb and Riley McKibben are uh, fiending to get their hands on a, <laughs> on a final as well. See Seems like that, that extended family is in quite a bit of a competition, and I like it. Yeah, exactly. Oh, here we go. We got some, uh, <laughs> some good stuff going down on Stadium Court. Let's hear. Uh, that this guy's, is amazing. Did you let's see? Hear, let's see what's did going you see on the down range there. in his shoulders? Oh, shit. Oh, oh yes. Get it. <laughs> this, this, guy, this guy's joints are way. They're, they're, it's not normal. It's not normal, and people. This, this girl is killing it, but. <laughs> She has no chance against this guy. <laughs> she knows it too. She should just give up already. <laughs> oh! Uh, you're kidding me. Just watch, ladies. You just oh, enjoy. Oh God. You're oh, welcome. This She's is joining scary. the club. <laughs> hey, we need medical on stadium. This is getting dangerous. She got some mental issues going down or something. I don't know. Look no, it's DJ Ruche. It's not Ru mental issues, it's DJ Ruche. <laughs> DJ Ruche, you bring the best out in everyone. <laughs> yes, it's her time to shine. It's her time to shine. You just gotta find it. You just gotta find your song. Oh, this is too good. <laughs> Enjoy it. Oh, yes. Enjoy it, ladies and gentlemen. Commit to it. Commit. Why? Oh, we're there. Not? Yes. Yep. Oh wow, I, I'm speechless. <laughs> so tired. <laughs> oh, bravo. IVs, we need IVs. <laughs> well done. All right, let's start with, uh, let's go, Kim. Who thinks Kim is our winner? Uh, just give it up, people. Oh, wait till you hear this crowd. <laughs> Wait till you hear the crowd give it up for this guy. <laughs> all right, all right. What about AJ? Game over. <laughs> Wait, I just want to try one more time. Hey, what about he's Kim? about as pumped as Madison McKibben right now. <laughs> and AJ. A, uh, oh, my God. <laughs> it's real close, but I think AJ just got you. AJ, the champ. Yeah, baby. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Yes. You two Hug it out. Good sportsmanship. Hug right it there. out. That was amazing. I admire that performance. <laughs> Absolutely. I wish I could do that. He needs some sunscreen, though. Yeah. <laughs> Get some sunscreen on the that forehead. Garden, definitely a favorite of the beer garden as well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Kleinskin sponsor, buddy. We got, we, go. we got you covered. We are back on the court. Billy Allen and Stafford Slick, the number one seed in this tournament, playing together for the sixth time on the ABP Tour and tenth time overall against Ty Loomis and Madison McKibben. Ty and Madison took the first set, 24-22, and here we go, we're off in the second. Where they left it off, too. Right there with Madison getting blocks. There it is. First point goes to the one seed. It's going to be interesting to see how, how Stafford continues here in the second with, with about 60%. Right. Like his, is, is his 60% game, can he still find those open spots? Ooh. Nice play by Ty. It's definitely difficult. I mean, it's got to be hard for Billy having that change of pace. Block, uh, your blockers kind of has a change of pace at the net. And, and your defenders. Uh, so, I mean, what does that feel like when your blockers kind of moving at a different speed. Well, I think watching them, watching these guys uh, in the semifinal, split block actually inspired a lot into right. my, my game with Emily Day, um, just because you get a different perspective and it worked for them to close out that semifinal in a dramatic affair. But um, Go out! 
you know, now now you're in your you're kind of out of your element, and there's str there's more stress applied. Now now we're in the finals, there's more on the line, and, and now you're de dealing with an incredible physical team of Loomis McKibben. And look at that, two to one, McKibben and Loomis leading in the second. Madison sticking with his jump serve. Nice cross. Wrist away. Slap down by Stafford Slick. That's kind of more of a natural Stafford play, but you see he's not winding up. He's not opening up that torso very much. Ah. He's kind of keeping those shoulders square, and, and that's not his game usually. Staying with the float serve. Going to Ty Loomis. I haven't seen Stafford make many plays on defense, so I don't know about, I feel like if I'm them, I, if I'm Billy, I say Stafford, I need you to be as physical as you possibly can be. Obviously he's injured, but they can't switch up their game too much. Stafford's not a defender. Billy obviously can make some plays, but we'll see here. Three to three. Ty and Madison testing Billy in that after. Going to tie here. Nice set by Madison. Here's a cover. They're going to get another shot. Oh, Maddie, I feel like he needed to use the right on that one. That set yeah. tied inside. Well, you know what? The wind really picked up. I mean, while we Sorry. were while we were talking before that play started, the wind has really picked up. I see one flag dead. Uh, flat down. A few flags are going crazy in another direction. So it's, I'm sure it's swirling down there on the court. So it's really hard to read and uh, obviously that's a part of the game. So just keep an eye on, on how much these sets are moving for these guys. Nice dig by Billy. Oh, and he sneaks it right past the block. Nice swing by Billy Allen. Going quick and low on Madison McKibben there. Madison kind of waiting and, and uh, you know, as a blocker, you're sometimes you can wait and read and react, but if the guy goes quick and low, you're, you're, you're gonna be late on it. So he decided to wait there and Billy went quick. Good play by Billy Allen. Up and over. Easy play there by Ty Loomis. I think, not sure what Stafford was trying to do there. I think he uh, thought maybe Ty would try to tee off on his top of his hand, so he tried to pull him down, but easy play for Ty Loomis, and uh, Madison's back to serve. Down four to five. Hmm. Oh. That would have been, uh, that would have looked nice. It wasn't fundamentally sound, that block, but Madison tried to the block where, it with one hand. I think that's, what's fascinating to me is the wherewithal. That, that he has. He jumps and then he can decide. Right. He can I'm gonna hang go, up there I'm gonna go for a little hand. bit. Go. Right, nine, nine. go. Oh, that's it. I think that's an error by Loomis. I right agree. There. I think you have to finish that ball. You got to get under it. Right. He tried to short arm it just a bit. Yeah. Give it the open hander. Last few plays for me, it, it, it's coming down to discipline from McKibben and Loomis. There's these small things. So, mm -hmm. so you see them chiseling two low balls in Madison that he should be sealing with his block. And then that dig by Ty where it looked like he was there, but kind of short armed it, like you said. Really got to finish those plays. And uh, I think we're more of a tied game if, if they did. But here we are. They're serving seven to five. And uh, definitely uh, still in this one. Here's Ty going with the float serve. Ty's going to get a chance here. And he puts it away. That exact play was a turning point in set number one, where they did that late, late angle move on Stafford and, and executed it well. And that was the turning point in set number one, I felt. Here we go. Six serving seven.
more disciplined yeah. walk right there. You see in transition, Ty makes a, the play before Ty takes care of that transition play. And then Madison seals a low angle right there, keeps his shoulders very square. And uh, there's the difference. Real cool in what you were saying, though, is, is trusting your teammate, trusting that we're going to set this up for this and we're both going to be able to contribute. Yep. I love that play right there and uh, just shows uh, how much these two are, are, how much chemistry they've gained in their short time playing together. 7-7. Seven, seven. Mm. Billy Allen's all over that. Late drop from Madison, but he makes the dig somehow. No one up, and he drops there it There it is. Stafford Slick asks for a little more noise. And Madison there's wants a little energy back. He's like, uh, you guys lost your energy for a sec. Uh, go ahead and give yeah. me that back. And, and, and it's fun to watch because he just in, uncovers layers and layers of his game. They, we talk about how, how physical he is as a blocker, but then he pulls and scoops and, and then drops a short ball. So fun. So fun to watch. Nice high swing by Stafford Slick. Ooh, uh, I don't like to mm. see that. A little wince by Stafford as he hit that ball, holding his ab now. He's definitely getting that spasm again in his ab, but hey, they won, <laughs> they won the, yeah. the last match. Uh, let's see if, uh, let's see how, watch how Stafford's moving here, ladies and gentlemen. It's gonna I be was wondering when he was gonna test it. At what point do you want a follow? Oh, and then he does that? Yeah. Really? Okay, Stafford. So if I'm Madison, I'm, I, I hope that one of them recognized right now. Oh, mm -hmm. Stafford's talking to Madison as well. Mm. But I hope they recognize that, that mm -hmm. Stafford's feeling that. Go up high, make him reach up high. When you have to reach high, you, you extend those abs. Not that you want to hurt the guy, but you don't really care in this situation. No, no it's, it, it is. It's how, how do you execute and how do you make your opponent the most uncomfortable exactly. all the time? Good play there by Madison. And 9-9, uh, we have a battle here. This is such a good final. Such a good final for these fans out here. And uh, I'm excited to see how it ends. Jeez. Wow, Billy. Billy I, Allen. That, that play, I've played against Billy many times. And, and he, you think he's a smaller player. And, and when that ball is tight, it's your job as a big blocker to go smother that. But he gets on it quick and, and, and hits it high like that. And that was three feet in, over the block. Billy's such a deceiving it player. It is an unassuming ball. He does that so often, too. you got to expect it. Mm. That's a huge, huge side out there. Not letting him get two in a row. That was a great move by Billy, too. Ty Loomis, like I mentioned, out of Laguna Beach. This guy just loves volleyball. He'll, he'll, he'll be that guy that's playing in all those fun tournaments. Mm -hmm. I'm sure he's played in Laguna Open many times. and. Uh, the mother load and six man, whatever. This guy just <laughs> loves volleyball. He'll play at any level, but he can definitely perform on the big stage as well, as you see. And he's about to help his team take the oh, lead. Nobody. If he can put that away, but he can't. Billy Allen with the kill in transition. And Stafford Slick says, "I don't need this shirt. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna hide my kinesio tape. <laughs> I'm injured, and I'm gonna let you know about it." Oh, look at the vibe in the stadium is rocking right now. Fans are getting on their feet. Gorgeous view from here. That was a missed opportunity by Loomis to put that ball away yeah, with absolutely. nobody up. That would have been huge. But again, how do you how do you come out of this timeout if you if you're Billy? I think he's. I mean, you keep doing what you're doing. You know, 
I think that's just been the key for this team. You're, this is your third final in a row. Everything you've been doing has been working. Don't change it now. You're here for a reason. Don't try to do more. Don't try to do less. Let the energy of the match uh, uh, dictate how you're playing and uh, just feel your opponents, you know? They're the experienced ones out here. They're the ones who are work have been in the final the last two times. And uh, just trust your, trust your training. Stafford Slick, you'll see that tape on his right abdomen. He has a muscle spasm going on, or at least he did after the last match. Uh, but no excuses at this point, mm -hmm. right? He's not using them. No one's giving him a break, and uh, it's time to battle. And they got the lead here in the second set. Wow, great move by Ty Loomis. The basketball jump off one foot. Here we go. I love to see how athletes react in these mm -hmm. big moments. 11 all in the second mm -hmm. set. We're creeping further, closer towards championship point. Let's see what happens. Stafford Slick out of Minnesota. Go! Little off-speed game, not working yet. On Ty Loomis and he explodes. Wow. Ty is feeling it. Not, not the Stafford Slick we're used to, but uh, I mean, good for Ty, just being aggressive, taking advantage. Stafford's not in the right position there either. Mm -hmm. His feet weren't there and uh, Look at this, 12-11, McKibben Loomis creeping towards the championship. But they got a long way to go. That one goes across the net and out off the dig from Loomis. Stafford back to serve. They're going at Loomis now. Great shot. That's what the best of the best do, right? They put it on that back line on purpose. It's not an accident. If that ball is landing three or four feet in, you'll see Billy actually probably make an effort at that. Obviously, he guessed wrong there, but, but if Billy hadn't guessed in the opposite direction, he still wouldn't be able to get that because Ty put it on the back line. Yeah, Ty's, Ty's high line is getting sharper and sharper. Shot. There's a lefty as Stafford. Stafford smiles over at Madison and says, yeah, I could do that too. <laughs> Might not be as pretty, but that's about the third time I've seen Stafford do that in the, in the last two matches. And it was, it was a nice cut shot with his lefty. <laughs> here we go, Billy Allen's going jump serve here. Staying on Ty Loomis. Wow, what a read by Billy. Position play, puts it away. Ty Loomis staying fired up. What a big moment we have right here. It's such a, it's so evenly matched. The two defenders are matching up each other, with each other super well. I like how Madison and, and Stafford are matching up. Madison Kibben, three-time state champion in high school indoor volleyball. Played in a few pressure situations himself. Another long rally, this would be huge right here for either team. This is a big mm -hmm. momentum changer at long rally, and Loomis again tags that back line. Unreal. And the crowd is rocking. Switching sides. Not Switching sure how, sides. The, how vibe this is. wind is down there. The flags are blowing for sure. The ambidexterity of this of this match is, is so fun to watch. Because you almost wonder if it's a lot of like left brain, right brain, you know, like whole brain thinking out there. You know, like the thinking and the feeling you got some is, is almost it's almost equal. It's uh, pretty uh, cool. Absolutely. That's some that's some deep sports psychology <laughs> lingo you got there dropping on us. <laughs> I, I read books, try. I I read books slowly. Very slowly. <laughs> Here we go. Madison, nice serve up the seam. Billy Allen with a nice drop shot. Looks like Madison kind of had the green light and 
and bit on that angle there. Not sure if he was making a call to, if his call was to stay on that low line, but he definitely drifted into that seam. Kibben, chance to go back up two. No one up. Mm. Oh, that good drop by Stafford Slick. Can't control it to his partner, though. Two-point lead as McKibben and Loomis creep closer to a championship. Madison McKibben, I am tripping out. <laughs> From the days of the daddy, to taste the, the, champagne. the daddy Hain four-man back home in Hawaii, the baby court, all the matches playing for milkshakes, and, and look at him now. Stafford oh, crushes that to the corner. No celebrations yet. This thing is not even close to over. And you're playing against a team that won the last tournament. They've been in this exact moment just a week ago. No time to, to take their foot off the pedal for Loomis and McKibben. For sure, point for point, keep side not clean and get your chances. I noticed Madison was jump serving. His top spin on this side and floating on the other side. Billy! That's such a clean shot. An even better dig by Billy. Here we go, Stafford's gonna get a chance to tie it up, and he does mm. it. He does not. I think goes about a foot out. Madison, being such Just a big presence it. at the net, made Stafford want to go a little higher with it, and, and, and that that's what caused it to go a foot out. Super effective. Check this out. Look how high he has to go with it. Jeez. Wow, the lineman's on that call. Ty getting some water from the fans. He just drank <laughs> out of a fan's water bottle. AVP, AVP Beach social media posted a photo of, of Madison this week, and his chest was over the net in a block. It was just Not only it was his ridiculous. Beard. Yeah, the beard. His the beard, chest beard. The beard cleared. Beard cleared the net. <laughs> that one goes a little out. Madison staying aggressive with that jump serve. 16-17. Stafford and Billy's semifinal match against Ricardo and, and Reed Pretty was was a fun one to watch on that frozen score. Go! Madison with the drop shot. Billy's all over it. Tight ball though. Billy's so good at those tight balls. Here we go. This one's got to go over. Cut shot. Loomis is on it. And Loomis finishes. Why not, Ty Loomis? Why not? <laughs> Eighteen, sixteen. they are creeping. Look at that battle at the net from the baby court's finest. <laughs> you know, Billy's so good at those tight balls. It's, it's really hard to battle with him. Impressive that Madison even, he actually lost the joust, but able to play it up. That's what you gotta do, you know? Even if you lose that joust, sometimes it's to your advantage to lose. Completely. And then you, you if you have the, wherewithal, as you yeah. say, to play it up, get your partner in position, and capitalize on it. It's, it's really demoralizing, actually, for the guy who won the joust. No doubt, and you have to make that decision in an instant. Is it more advantageous for me to play this back and get a swing, or do I just lock it in on that? Yeah, no, exactly. Push him to the ground. Kind of got a feel what they're giving you as well. If they're on the attack, then sometimes you 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 kind of give in to it a little bit and control it. If you're on the attack, you're hoping they're kind of attacking, but you push last. So whoever pushes last is usually gonna win it. Like Loomis and McKibben have uh, the crowd on their side a little bit more. Mark Sherman's asking them to make some noise for both teams. Fans have been filing in all weekend. Such a good event here in San Francisco. One of four events here in California, but the only one that's not on the beach. Mm. AVP Tour and Donald's son brought the beach to San Francisco here on Pier 32. 
with AT&T Park on one side of the stadium and the Bay Bridge on the other. And we couldn't ask for better weather. Or better dancing. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> they get down over here. Let's get loose, everybody. The beer garden is, that's for sure. <laughs> here we go. After a long time out, can McKibben and Loomis continue their momentum? And Got they it. Can. Oh, Strickler and a little chest slap. They aren't apologizing no. for that one. No way. Not at all. I do like the composure here. They're staying a little quiet on that one. They didn't. They didn't uh, mm -hmm. blow up too much on that. They got away with something. Kind of, they got me, away with exactly, something. You kind of ignore that. You're like, I'll mm -hmm. take it, but mm -hmm. we're on to the next point. You got to forget that. Because you know those can happen at any time, especially when froze, when the score freezes. Yeah, you, definitely we got that point freeze coming up, so a comeback is definitely possible. Ooh. Madison McKibben staying Yikes. disciplined, trusting his partner where he is behind him. And that was a beautiful block from Maddie. Not that trying to do too much in such a big moment here. Yeah. And he's going to have a few match points yeah. right here. Right now, everyone back home, his family is freaking out. <laughs> I know it. His big brother's back home tripping out watching this match. And uh, Loomis McKibben, match point. Served to Stafford Slick. Oh, and, and they're there. Wow. Loomis was there for the dig, barely missed it. Here we go, they're gonna have to side out. The score is frozen. You have to be serving to score. The, st the fans are gonna stay on their feet for however long it takes for this set to end. Billy Allen with the jump serve. He's going for it to tie Loomis. Uh-oh, Billy Allen's all over it. And I'll put that one away. That's one. They're going to need four. One down, Billy Allen, Stafford Slick saying, shh. At least that's what he's motioning. Not yet. Yeah. Yeah. Not quite yet. Let's see how these boys handle this situation. Going to Ty Loomis. The guy who's won one before, and he hits it out. Oh, that ball's no clean. touch. That ball's out. This is why the point freeze is crazy. Good time. That's a good Looks timeout. Like they take a timeout here. It's such a mental game to get over the fact that you're. If if it was the normal rules, they would have won already. You know, you win on a side out. Mm -hmm. um, or I don't know if they got a side out yet, but you know, it's a lot easier to win with a four point lead and side out. Now they have to earn it, earn the other scoring. I'm getting tongue tied right now, but this is gonna be a mental battle for, for Ty and, and Madison. The pressure's on them right now, 100%. But you gotta get past that. You gotta trust each other. You wanna stay keep loose and doing, aggressive. Keep doing what you've been doing all match. Do not get tight. Do not try to do anything different, in my opinion at least. Uh, and I think that's on Ty Loomis right now to, to communicate that with Madison. Make sure that you have the Madison McKibben you've had all match on your side. He hasn't been here before. He shouldn't expect to know how to be in this situation, although he has played in state championships. He's played in national championships in college. So he's been in big situations. But this one in particular, I think he and his partner have to stick together and just trust their game. and. and, and and let it flow. Go for it, you know? Go for broke. You do go for broke. You push all in. You the the body's gonna respond to the mind. If the mind is loose and aggressive, the body will will definitely follow. Hundred percent. Let's see what happens. See if they stay aggressive aggressive. Offset. Oh. Ty hits that one in the net. Now they're here in the crowd with the who's and on. Here we go. Billy and Stafford were down 10 to 14 in the third set in the semifinals, and they came back to win. First, Ricardo Santos and Reed Pretty. They are not afraid to do it again, but Ty puts that one away with a little flex down afterwards. They're going to get a match point right now. You got to fight it off. Mm -hmm. 
What's your strategy here, Try? Who do you serve? I serve Stafford Slick, for sure. And say, green light, Madison McKibben. Go have some fun up there. The ball's oh. in. Oh. Wow, that was half an inch from match point. Great call by the ref, nice and quick. Decisive. Yeah, that is quick. That's not easy, we got our best out here doing this match. Best of the best down there. Wow, that was, uh, that thing barely tagged the line. Yeah, good call. Here we go. Nothing you can do about it. No, you gotta accept that. Yeah. For sure, Ty and Maddie will take that swing all day. That was a yeah. half an inch away from uh, championship. First ball side out. Going to Loomis. Mm. Ty Loomis, big old flex down after that one. I think uh, Ty's happy Got they're it. serving him late in this match, yeah, for no sure. Doubt. As Geeter used to say, game, set, championship point. <laughs> Something like that, right? Yeah. We're gonna have a new winner right now if McKibben and Loomis can score. And they- Oh, uh, wow. Stafford now busting out the heat. Looks like they doubled up on that angle there. They dared him to swing down that line, which he hasn't really done all match, but. No, that's the. He, uh, he took the bait. Or he, Madison and, yeah, Matt, McKibben, Loomis, they haven't seen that speed from, from, Stafford. from Stafford all match. Here we go, now they go to McKibben. Yipes. And that one goes out. Way to stay aggressive, Madison, and not swing low. He, mm -hmm. It looked like Stafford was all over that low angle that Madison's been doing. Um, and he goes high off the hands. I literally like that swing. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Championship point, Loomis McKibben. Madison going with a jump serve. Jump stoppy. Keeps it in. Goes to Billy Allen. Oh, wow, wow Billy. What a great change up. Squared Cross his, body. Squared his squared, shoulders yeah. up to the line. Madison kind of drifted out with it, which which I like. He sealed mm -hmm. that line well. But watch how he goes with this cross body. It's so deceiving. Great swing by Billy Allen. Here we go. They're going to have to keep siding out to earn this one. Mm. That one's in again. Such a great call by these linesmen. He's so yeah. on it. That thing was about an inch in as well. Ty's getting the fans pumped up. Unbelievable. Can Loomis get his second victory since Coney Island, 09? Here we go, championship point, and Stafford puts another one away down the line. Both sides are, are, are playing such a clean side out game. You almost want to take advantage of the let serve and just kind of unload on one, yeah? And like kind of look for an ace or look to get somebody into passing trouble? Yeah, I think you stay aggressive with the serve. Uh, I mean, I, I like to trust the defense as well, um, but they're not making much moves the last two match points. Go! It is though. Yeah, really clutch right now. Coming through big on these side outs, and that's what you gotta do. They're, they have to earn this championship. It's not gonna come easy. I say right now try something, run something. Yeah. Ty's going back though, look. There we go. Ty's gonna dial something up. He's either gonna give Madison the green light and say, hey, whatever you see, go get it or they might run a show and take, or let's see. Let's see if I'm right or wrong. For the win. Mm. He dug it, Madison well, almost so chased it down. Yet. Not too happy about it, but he's gotta save that energy. Yeah. Don't get frustrated. They're getting their chances. Keep siding yeah. out. Keep siding out.
<laughs> the plot thickens. Ty Loomis, 1-0 all-time in finals. Madison, if he wins this, will be 1-0 as well. Big side out, nice change of pace from Madison. Way to see it and execute. Wow, Madison is performing in the clutch right now. Really cool to see for someone that hasn't yeah. been in a final yet. Real calm. 26 years old. He looks old. real comfortable out there. Real comfortable exactly. in the finals. 26 year old USC Trojan with his 38 year old partner who went to UCI. Looking for a championship right here. So that's a There's let a serve. Let. Yeah. There's a let serve. He's going for it. And uh, he's going to get a redo here. No more let serves. When you when you see the rhythm, you know, side out, side out, side out, people were real clean. I just think there's something to disrupting that rhythm, whatever that means. Going for that serve here. Here we go. Match championship point. Going at Stafford Slick. He's out by the pin. Madison with the block. He got Francisco, roll it out, boys. <laughs> the McKibbins are going crazy. Why not? <laughs> Amazing. Wow. Madison McKibben and Ty Loomis. <laughs> San Francisco AVP champions. Unbelievable performance this weekend. They got tested to the very last second. And they came through in the clutch time and time again. They're enjoying that champagne for sure. And they earned it. Oh, that's going to be that's a good fun. party tonight. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> When's your Enjoy flight, it, boys. When's your flight? I don't know, but we're going to have to change it. <laughs> Spike in the champagne. Get some. I cannot imagine how uh, crazy his brother Riley's yeah. going back home. What a well played final. Riley, Riley probably just did what Madison <laughs> just did, but in his living room alone. <laughs> Carpet. <laughs> uh. He just destroyed his house, probably. <laughs> wow. So good. It'll be interesting to see how Stafford comes back from his ab injury in the next AVP stop. Billy Allen was playing super smooth, as he always does. And that was a that was a well played final considering what they were dealing with, but no doubt did did Ty Loomis and Madison McKibben take it. And got it was tested, theirs for the taking. Had a bunch of match points and and uh, they earned it. Feels even better that way. No doubt. Fear the beard being chanted. Fear the beard. <laughs> wow. Unreal. <laughs> Boys enjoying it. A little San Fran Lambo leap style. Giving some love to the beer garden. The party's gonna be going tonight, I'll tell you that much. So good. Send me the location. Yeah. <laughs> I'll send you the pin. These guys. This is just going to go through the night. Every yeah. Night. <laughs> this, this is only the beginning. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Everybody back in Laguna, I'm sure, is just mm -hmm. so stoked for Ty Loomis. Everyone in Hawaii for McKibben. I'm sure uh, Madison's parents, Diana and Angus, having a pretty emotional moment right now, having their first of many, I'm sure, of, of both their sons. Uh, but a pretty cool moment for Madison and uh, everybody back home. Just really freaky athlete, athletes. It's so fun to watch the men's game. And the progression, right? I mean, yeah. really, they, they were both in the qualifier like a few weeks ago. But uh, I, I think that's just a testament to how deep the field is. Right. Like anybody can win 
any weekend. And and I heard you say, why not Ty Loomis? You know, and, yeah. it, and it is. You just exactly. you keep grinding, and and you wait for that timing. And when you feel it, you feel it, and you know. And but you also too have to execute in that moment, and that's the hardest spot. Exactly. But they had so much fun with it. So fun to watch. What a great final. Great final. Going into overtime, both sets. And uh, a few match points that Stafford and Billy were fighting off. Ty and, and uh, Madison showed their composure and really earned it. And it feels even better when you had to earn it, right? Mm -hmm. It wasn't because Stafford was injured. Not at all. Stafford was playing well. They had to go out there and earn it against the number one seed. And... Uh, what a great performance and a great entertaining final for the fans. And uh, a few of them are sticking around and just partying in the stands. I think everybody's waiting to see where that party goes. Yeah, <laughs> they're just gonna follow Ty and Madison. Yeah, yeah. Uh. <laughs> oh, the game ball. Goes game to ball Madison goes to McKinnon. Madison. Nice, ref hands Yeah, the ball. real nice. Congratulations. Madison sees his girlfriend, Chelsea. She spills her drink all over him. Cool moment for them, I'm sure. <laughs> Ty Loomis, Ty Loomis jumps on the owners of the AVP. <laughs> the Suns gives them both kisses. Pogo's. Pogo's with them a little. Pogo's with everyone else along the way. <laughs> now check out on the screen here the dig of the day. Scoop and deliver by Billy Allen. Yeah, what a great. What a great tournament by those two. And what a great run they're on. I mean, I think it's safe to say their run is not over yet. They made three finals in a row. Um, obviously, they only won one of them, but it's, uh, they've been on a tear. And uh, those guys uh, had a great weekend as well. But these two are hoisting the trophy here. McKibben and Loomis, along with Jeff Conover right here. 2017 AVP San Francisco Open Champions. Why not? There you McKibben have it. McKibben and Loomis. It's mm -hmm. my word of the day, phrase Why of the day. Why not? Loomis throwing shakas. We got Hermosa coming up in two weeks. Hermosa. You, you enjoy up. it, but you got to recover and go back to work. Yeah, exactly. These, I mean, at least they got a week off uh, in between. Uh, <laughs> Madison just screaming into the mic. You've been waiting a long time for number two, and you just got it, baby. Yeah, uh, I'd like to thank my new sexy beard. Um, it's the first one I've ever grown. I just passed the already last week. It's exciting. Uh, but really, I want to thank uh, all the staff, the crew. They put in so much work to make this event happen. So a loud round of applause for them. And I'd like to thank one special man, Mrs. Donaldson. Staff, thank you so much. We couldn't have won this without you guys. Thanks for hanging in. I love you. Yes, baby. Madison, go celebrate, baby. Ty, gentlemen, Ty Loomis, Madison McKibben. Congratulations to them. Let's check out some highlights from the match. I'm Triborn. Thank you for coming. And uh, I'm Brittany Hochaver, and it was good having you here on AVP.com. See you later, everyone.